Don't, don't with this block. sort of thing. <laughs> All right, so we're in Manchester. This is uh, Main and Bridge. And we're about to go cop block a DUI checkpoint because, you know, they're cops and they don't have any authority because they're just people with costumes and shiny badges and guns and they like to steal from people and we're trying to try and warn motorists to not go through their checkpoint. So that is the goal here tonight. But we gotta have coffee so we got donkeys. That's what we're gonna do. So many people we count here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, counting nine officers. And that one, that one counts for two. Of them. They can't. He counts for three. Does he count, why does he count for three? Because he has a clipboard? No, no, no. no, no. The mighty clipboard. Mighter than the gun, apparently. Because people believe that that paper gives them the right to steal. Not the fact that they're holding guns on them. Yep. It's also an arbitrary drunk for children to attend. There aren't enough of them because between them, the IQ is like about 90 or 100. Like 30 more. All right, I'm out at a checkpoint right now, or do I checkpoint? I'm running into people I don't recognize, so I'm kind of curious. All right, guys, why why are you out here right now? Because we saw the police. Uh huh. And why don't you like the police? Because they they abuse us, you know. They are. Yeah. And I'm from, I come from Mexico, and the police take advantage of all Mexicans around here, you know, try to deport us. Not right, because we come to get a better life. So that's why I'm here. I came here for a better life too. All right, I'm not from New Hampshire, but I came, I moved here for a better life. So I, I can relate. I, I moved halfway across the country. I don't think it's better what here. they're doing if people are hanging around. No, I mean, they have well, to be stopping, you know. They, they could be, first off, I don't agree with like cops, period, but they could at least, you know, there's, there's 15 people, down, there's 15 cops down there, you know, pulling people over, stealing their money, because basically, what, what is a ticket? It's theft that you know with a piece of paper, you know, and they use this as an excuse to like search their cars and find some way to find them or something like that. And, re and on top of that, this is, you know, you're supposed to have a warrant to issue to search your vehicle, you know, or to detain you, you know, for some reason that you've done wrong. Just driving down the street, that's that's ridiculous. This is not. This is like a oh, occupation you. almost, if you think about it, where they can just pull anyone over and look at anyone's car. Which I don't think is right. No, it's not. No, you should, have the freedom, you should have the freedom to travel wherever you want. No matter you what, where, where we come from. doesn't matter. We're, we're all human beings on this homeland called Earth. You should be able to travel wherever you want to travel, whether it's down this bridge. I hate cops anyways. Yeah, so do I. I, I do too. When you can say, I love it, but I don't like them. That was awesome, back. guys. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Very, very welcome. Thank you. Right. Uh, you know, I'll I'll all right. So we're at checkpoint. You guys are just walking by. What, what do you think of these people trying to prevent people from being searched by the police? I think it's fantastic. They should do that at every checkpoint in every city. What, what's your views on checkpoints? Um, it's just another source of revenue. That's the problem. Yeah. Exactly. This, guy this guy knows. This guy knows. The fact that they look at it as revenue <laughs> makes it. Uh, a lot less uh, 
you know, justified, you know, okay. because it causes corruption. When you go for money, that's when corruption comes into place. Right. Exactly. A lot more important things out there to be found than people driving a little drunk having a good. Yeah, I mean, there's 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 crime in this yeah, city. Yeah, exactly. There there's be. a lot of crime in this city. I mean, you got no one at all. You gotta look to at Boston. Go, you know, look at Boston. Okay. You go there. You know, you'll drive for miles and you'll never see a cop because they have better things to do. You come exactly. right into New Hampshire. As soon as you hit the border, they have nothing better to do, so they go right into traffic stops, and that's how they make their source of revenue. They yeah, yeah they, their entire pay is determined yeah, exactly. on them writing tickets. Exactly. So they get as that, much as they can. I, I constantly get pulled over on one of my cars. I have two cars. Uh -huh. One of them is a Jaguar. It looks, you know, very modern, very classy, whatever, whatnot. Then I drive a lowered Volkswagen, very loud, very obnoxious looking, and I constantly get harassed in that car, and I constantly get tickets on it. Do you ever, do you ever film? Sick ride shouldn't be a crime. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I love the car. It looks fucking awesome. Exactly. I love the thing, and I'm scared to drive it because cops always pull me over. And it's, it's, you ever, it's, do you ever it, film them when they pull you over? I'm, I'm gonna start doing. You should. It. I am. That's what I do. It's, con it's constant, like stereotyping and it's illegal to stereotype me like that you know because i drive i kind of drive like a maniac in the jaguar uh -huh. and they never say anything and i drive in the volkswagen and i can't drive i drive at 25 miles an hour everywhere i go and you know speed limits very cautious very safe and they pull me over and they pull me over illegally because they don't have a reason to pull me over which is illegal and they try to find something and half the time most of the time they let me go because they don't have nothing on me yeah and it's a them oh i'm trying to ask them what they're pulling you over. Oh, I exactly. do all the time. They never yeah, have anything. Being That's what, exactly. Because if they, if they if have to say detained, yes or you're free to go. Exactly. Yeah. If they say yes, then they have to tell you why. Exactly. Most of the time I get to go because I act. That's the first thing I ask. Is, Am I being detained? They'll be like, no. I'm like, all right, so I'm free to go. They'll be like, yes, all right, goodbye, sir. And I leave. There they you go. You got, you got it down. Just record it. You can't yeah, trust I'm them, trying man. to. I'm sorry to go. You I'm can't trust them. Like, take your cell phone out. Put it in like, exactly. like I have like a cup holder right oh, there yeah. on my thing. I just I turn oh, it over I and put it in the recorder. That, that's the problem with most people nowadays. Is they don't know they can record the police because they think, oh, if I record the police, they're going to hassle me. They're going to get me on another charge. No, it's completely what, legal to film the police. The thing is, like, uh, what, six months ago? Or yeah. Like that? Um, there's a court case that hit the New Hampshire Supreme Court where uh, there's people that were doing just this filming cops and whatnot. Uh, they got arrested for it. Well, she got arrested for it. She ended up getting uh, charged, charged with felony wiretapping. Yeah, by the by the Ware Police Department. They got overturned by the uh, New Hampshire Supreme Court, where they actually gave they it, they ordered Ware uh, City to pay her fifty thousand dollars in damages. Really? Yeah. Because they tried so to the them. odds of so any police in, in New Hampshire, Hampshire doing that again? There's is no wire there. Not gonna happen. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. We've had it. I don't care. There's been a lot of those kind yeah. of. Sick of them. Because they're constantly harassing me. I drive my Jaguar. Never get even looked at. I drive my Volkswagen. Here, constantly being stared. You know, it's like you're not allowed to be your own person. That's a, that's my car. That car is to express myself with the way I am. And they're constantly harassing me. There's nothing illegal about the car. It's just very loud and obnoxious. But it's still in the legal terms, so they shouldn't be harassing me. Yeah. Well, then on top of that, you can't trust police as it is. Like you always hear about police brutality happening all the time, everywhere. Oh, actually, let's talk about this. So yeah. So. I went to the police station. I'm trying to get my um, concealed weapon permit. You shouldn't need permission to have a firearm concealed. Oh, well, if you can open carry, if you can open carry oh, yeah. it like this. Oh, you're awesome. Yeah. right there, right? <laughs> All right? I didn't even see that. I was, yeah. You're pretty good at if that. You can <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know this, he doesn't now. need permission to do this. Oh, yeah. but you oh, need to go. Yeah. You need to go get their permission but just to up, put your coat over it. You know, if I carry that around, I'm gonna get him pulled over every single yeah, time and be in He's gonna get beat too. Yeah, probably today. Yeah. The problem is that's why I went to go get like concealed permit because I can't walk around like that because I know I'm gonna be harassed 24 seven and it's not worth the hassle. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have to be hassled over that because I'm Spanish. Yeah. I went to the police station and I got ID to pass in a uh, you know a permit yeah. um, application. Well, like I shouldn't I, be harassed. I grew up in Mexico, but yeah. I don't look like it, so they don't harass me. Yeah. But I had a roommate back in Phoenix yeah. who looked very dark, and yeah. he just and harassed all exactly. the time just because he looks. Even though I spent more time in Mexico than he did, exactly. But but I, he he just looked it. the right way. Exactly. You look the right way, and we don't. But it's hard to hide. It's hard to hide a skin color, you know. Yeah, it's it's obnoxious. I, I can't stand it. That's why we pop the block every time we can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, that seriously. Awesome. Hey, what's your name? Joel. Joel, that's me. I'm next. Man. Uh, yeah, uh, no worries. It was it was cold. Anyway, you got something. <laughs> <laughs> nice meeting you. Pleasure. Man. Nice meeting you guys. All right, yeah, doing peace. A good thing. It's fucking awesome. Appreciate it. Isn't that unconstitutional? Yeah.
It is unconstitutional. They need a warrant in order to search you and detain you. Yeah, but they don't have that. It's a random search, so they're not. It's really unconstitutional. It's an illegal search. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's yeah. Really Anyway, no, That's assuming as someone that can write down on a piece of paper that they have the right to search you anyways. Yes. Yeah. It's another constitutional, like another issue in all and by itself, but this well, is illegal based off on Another problem is they don't educate people on the Constitution. They just pass it on by, like, whatever, nobody cares. Are you a constitutionalist? I just, I believe in freedom. What? I believe in freedom. Well, so do I. Do you believe your freedom comes from the Constitution? No, or do you my, it comes my freedom from humanity? comes from, from the fact that I'm an individual, Thanks. a person. Yes. You know, I don't need a piece of paper. You know, that, that just limits the government as to what they can impose upon me. And people forget that. Exactly. You know, I mean, I've known that. Just because since. someone wrote down on a piece of paper over 200 years ago and so that was signed by 39 people that they have the right to steal from you, doesn't give them that right to steal from you. They, they never said we had, they had the right to steal from us. Article 1, Section 8 says Congress has the right to lay and collect taxes. Oh, well, I didn't know. Taxation is theft, in my opinion. Well, it is. It's extortion. Yeah. It's extortion. Yeah, it's in the Constitution. Because if, if you don't pay up, they, what do they do? They throw you in jail. Yeah, men with men in costumes and guns and shiny little badges on their chest will come to your door, kidnap you, and throw you in a cage. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm all for, like, you know... Policing, policing. Well, I, I'm not against the, the idea of there being security forces protecting people and solving crimes, but I am against them, you know, going on the street, blocking it off, yeah. and using it as a reason for revenue to search and uh, revenue steal from you. Revenue like, is nothing more than, you know, thefts. That's like my, um, my theory is, you know, why do we got to pay for parking? Maybe if we fired all these meter maids, you know, that are just walking around harassing people yeah. you wouldn't have to pay for parking how much how much money is that going to create just from from uh you know not having those individuals doing nothing have you ever heard of what they do in keen what's that it's called, it's called robin hooding oh yeah i've done that i'll do that from time to time if i see them i'll dump supporters in put tags on people's cars. I, love, I love the fact that you know what robin hooding is yeah that, that's that's I, uh, I totally believe in that i mean there was one time this lady was on the hunt and i told her i go you don't have to worry about this side of the street uh-huh and she got all upset i just kept riding by see you later. yeah no I, I, you know i don't i don't know very, I don't know. I'm a veteran, and, and I don't think I don't think the direction in which the country is going. Right. Can I ask you another question? What's that? All right, because you seem very educated on the ideas of freedom and liberty and stuff like well, that. Well, everybody should. Everyone should be, but most people are not. No, no, yeah. they yeah. take it for granted. Yeah. Um, Especially being a veteran, it kind of it means more, I would imagine. Uh, but maybe not. Where, where do you, uh, is your stance on uh, New Hampshire independence? New Hampshire independence, as far as declaring independence. Oh, getting out of the uh, leaving the union. I yes. think I think it'd be a good idea. It'd be great Honestly, because what, what's it doing for us? What's the federal government do for New Hampshire? It's nothing more than the same thing from when the colonies were under uh, Great Britain. British protection. A bunch of, uh, a few people in a far off land are, do, uh, are controlling our lives and we have, exactly. no, we have no control same. over it. And, and the general feel is nobody, nobody wants that. Nobody yeah. wants that. Like, people I know, people I associate that, with, they don't, they don't want that. They don't, not at all. Like, um, uh, during, on the 4th of July, Myself and a few other people, uh, we went to different um, Independence Day like rallies, like fireworks yeah. shows and parades and stuff like that. We were, we were handing out New Hampshire uh, independence literature. That's cool. Uh, That's and awesome. we actually got a huge. Um, most people were receptive of it, which was almost surprised. I was. I didn't know where people would really lie on because right. it's like you know. Well, I mean, you think about it. How much? How much money is actually getting funneled out of New Hampshire? Yeah. To support this big federal government that that is, essentially isn't doing anything for us. No, it's not. I mean, where's all that? All that money is going to pay the interest on this money. No, our money that we're that, borrowing. They use the that money to, to to pay for buy all the computers that the NSA is using yeah, to spy on every on. little thing that I do and all the That's metadata like, uh, that I have. They're rent, they're renting out two floors in that black building over there. Wait, 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 wait. The NSA? 
most people don't know that. Some some big government agency with guns is renting it out. What that? It's like Department of uh, Homeland Security or whatever. Well, I know there's a there's, there's that there's, there's that federal building uh, over on Chestnut. Yeah, right across from the courthouse. I've seen we do jury uh, they talk about I'm not really talking about that. Uh, jury nullification is uh, is the idea that there is no victim, there is no crime. Right. And right. That a jury, it's not just a check on whether or not you're guilty or not, it's a check on the law itself. If the law is unjust, there's no law at all. So we hand out literature telling jurors that they can say that a person's not guilty, even if they're completely guilty. So say like, uh, uh, I don't know if you're a gun advocate. If someone yeah. got arrested for concealed carrying and didn't get permission from their masters yeah, to do that, that's what there's no, there's that's not a crime. Just having a gun concealed underneath your shirt, especially if you're not doing anything. Especially if you're not, you're just walking down the street yeah. or something like that, and you get detained by the police. Well, you would go out there and say, look, that the fact that you know, if you're a constitutionalist, Second Amendment, the right to bear arms shall not yeah. be it's, it's infringed. Yeah. This law is infringing that. It is unconstitutional. There's, there is no crime. There is no victim. This right. person, we're saying this person's not guilty, even though that they are guilty. And even in New Hampshire, actually, which was signed the law not too long ago, there is a jury nullification statute uh, on the books. So people, uh, a defendant can actually say they're using jury nullification as a defense in oh, the really? state. Yeah, that's how like hardcore it is here. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder if I could use that for a traffic violation. You could try. I, uh, I've, well, I've you have to, you'd have to that. take it to trial, though. That's the I've, thing. Well, I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna do that with all my violations. I mean, never take a plea, man. No. Well, unless it like means that you're gonna actually, uh, you know, face a huge amount of jail time. To, well, you know, I, I maybe I, I, you always gotta I'm make that gonna personal decision for yourself. But, but I'm just try saying, like, never take a plea. Any any like traffic infringements that I might get or anything. I'm taking it to court because they're going to collect a little bit of money for me, but how much are they going to spend in return to get that money from me? Yeah. You know? And plus, I feel like this. I'm taking somebody off the street that's not harassing the citizen. Oh, exactly. Because you know, obviously, yeah. that's the cop that's handing out tickets. Now, why, are, why are you like, helping us with this, huh? this stuff, man? You sound like you're, like you're all into this. You know all this I am. stuff. I, well, I am. You know? but I, I try to educate people like every day about things. Well, here's this is uh, what we're really all about tonight. All right. It's a uh, cop lock. Nice. So uh, it's the whole idea that these men with guns on the outside side of the street, they're nothing more than me and you, man. They're just no, human no, beings. No, they're not. I don't, I don't treat them any differently. I, I don't, I don't think of them as any, any authority. Like, as soon as, as if a police officer pulls me over, he's no different than me. Yeah. What, what's he done? He's cruised around this city. I, you know, I've been in a war zone a couple of times. You know, yeah. your, your little badge and stuff ain't going to intimidate me. I ain't afraid of you. And that's that's what they work on. They work on a lot of that intimidation. Like even if I'm dead wrong mm -hmm. and I'm I, I'm guilty of something, I'm not gonna let him you know intimidate me into the fact that I might slip up or say anything because it's not right. You know I have a right to fucking defend myself. Oh, you do. And you know you I'm not gonna incriminate do. myself. I mean, this is in any fashion, I've, I've had police pull me over and, and want to search my vehicle for different things. Oh, I, I've been pulled over multiple times, but that's kind of because my car is a cop magnet to begin with. Yeah. You, know, you know if you put a bumper sticker on your car, oh, yeah. it's a cop magnet, the cop doesn't, uh, yeah. you know. And uh, I film every time, so every time I get pulled over, I got my camera out, you know, it's filming. And uh, my first week here, I got pulled over. Like I, I moved here yeah. um, in January, and uh, my very first week, uh, the car I bought already had bumper stickers. I grew with all of them, but I kind of had to take. Right. I, I, they're not mine. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have yours. But uh, I got pulled over, and I got. I started getting questions about where I bought my car at, and they're like interrogating me. Yeah. I was like, I'm not answering these questions. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. Yeah. yeah. Like, am I free to go or am I not? If I'm, if I've done something wrong, then. Arrest me now and detain me and tell me my rights. Otherwise, let me go. I've, yeah. I've, I've been pulled over for having a headlight out on my vehicle. Three, three cruisers, six, six different police personnel pulling, pulling over me for a headlight out. Wow. And it, it's, you know, it's, why are we utilizing that re those resources for an individual? He's not even doing anything, you know? It's just ridiculous. And it, but that's the way it is in Manchester. Anytime somebody gets pulled over, it's like two or three cruisers. Yeah. And they don't need that. And another thing is, you always see these cruisers. They'll, they'll burn through the lights. They'll just flip their lights on. Yep. Tear right they through think the they have some sort of, they think they're above the law. Yeah. And yeah. then, you also have the fire department 
They're buzzing up and down the streets, running their little sirens. Wasting fuel, wasting money, our money, you know? Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's just... Well, you're, you're, you're more than welcome to join us. We've got some more uh, signs. We're looking to uh, jump up and uh, help us out. I will. I have to work tomorrow. Though. So? That's the only thing. That's, I got to work tomorrow, I'm man. <laughs> but anyways, it's been an absolute yeah. pleasure talking to you. I love hearing what people think of uh, all of this. It's not right. It's not right. Hey guys, Hi, you, I like uh, your camera. You do? Can you guys be interested in answering a couple questions about what's going on over there? Sure, I think that's just the cop block. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, really I'm going to go the see the cop block. Just, hey, yo, yo, let's get this. Are we, are we on camera? Yeah, on camera, yeah. I, I, I want to know what you guys think hey, yo, of that. That's why I'm over here. Illegal search? Hey, yo, come illegal come search? Come you must know what we think of that. Illegal search up there? That's so bold. Illegal. They're doing a search on, yeah, they're doing a search on the bridge. You want to go? I do know my rights. Thank you. I'll say this. I'm going all over the place. I guarantee us you can follow us at the camera. I'll give you a special shot right now. What are you gonna do? Don't be hurting me. I'm, I'm gonna give you that blog spot where to go to, where it's at right now. The new wave. Where the new wave. Yeah. So what do you guys? What do you guys? Just, the new evolution is swag. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. <laughs> so what do, you, what, what do you think of them cop blocking? This? I feel bad. You know, I'm not looking for promotion, by the way. With the situation that's going out up there, it's illegal. Uh -huh. It's You're basically illegal like search up there. Almost illegal. Right. I wouldn't say the seizure hey! part. Legal search for sure. Yeah. You know what the Constitution said. I'm not sure what your amendment is, but you know you can't have the cops stopping some people. Oh, randomly. Randomly, yeah. What, without, Fourth Amendment. You have the yeah. 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 It's it's holiday weekend. And that's the official right bullshit though. right there. Even if it's a holiday weekend, they don't have the right to search you. No, they, they don't. They don't. They don't. Yeah. So what are we talking well, about? On a holiday weekend, they feel oh, like they walk in or have to get drunk. You know. Yeah, yeah. And if oh, a drug person, they, but they, like, they make it too obvious. They have like 20 cops on the bridge, like oh, no, it's ridiculous. Yeah. And they could be, those people could be like throughout, you know, uh, Elm. If they see cars swerving that are driving drunk, they can go pull them over. Exactly. But instead, no. you know, I can't drive. I, I have the right to travel, and they're preventing me from doing that. They're, they're using this as a revenue, you know. If they find something wrong with your car, or if you have some contraband in your car, they search, they're going to arrest you and fine you, right. you know. And... They need a they need a issue by a warrant issued under the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights to yeah. search a random search like this. It's completely well, so, right. look what happened. They already planted the situation on me a couple weeks ago. You know what I mean? They planted a. They said they found a dime bag. I said, "Can I see the dime bag?" They ain't showed me the dime bag. I was right in front of Rita Mays. They already know what the situation was. They never found the dime bag. They never showed me the dime bag. But because I was on a previous charge where they said I had a false report, it was crazy. Because because I had full coverage insurance, why am I going to have a false report? I have coverage either if I crash it or not, dummy. But did, did they arrest you or find you for that? It's all right. But we lead them to d9reserve.com. The, the letter D, the number 9, reserve.com. What, what, what is that? Yeah. What is that? D9reserve.com. You open up well, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. well, thanks for talking to us, guys. I appreciate it. No, but honestly, I, I agree. They don't have the right to fucking search us for no reason. Yeah. You know no, I mean? they don't. But at the same time, to, in today's world, they don't believe in the fucking amendments. So They don't believe in any kind yeah, of... They don't believe in that shit. We need to bring that shit back. We need to start bringing Bibles back into the fucking elementary school. Well, you shouldn't be sending kids to government schools to begin with. Straight up. Hey, yo, I'm serious. All right, we're walking up to the checkpoint. It's like 12:30 something at night right now uh, on the bridge. And there's only two squad cars. There's really like five up here. I don't, even see anyone. Up. I don't even see anyone out. So uh, let's let's investigate and see what's going on down here. They're probably all down there. Car running with nobody in it. Do they have someone up here? I guess, I don't know. I'm gonna ask them a couple questions. Can you guys answer a couple questions tonight? Yeah, I think I'm all set tonight. You sure? Yeah. I was just curious how many uh, people you guys arrested tonight. 
I won so far. On what? A guy was driving after suspension. Yeah, he had a previous DWI. So he's under suspension. But don't people have the right to travel? The right to travel? Yeah. Well, not not after you've been convicted of DWI, I guess, and he was under suspension by the so What is the person supposed to do if they got that in their life and they that's and on their record? I guess they record. gotta make other arrangements. It's a deterrent to driving intoxicated. You don't advocate driving while impaired. Of course not, but I think okay. people should have the right to travel. Well, yeah, but yeah. unfortunately, he forfeited his right to travel in a vehicle on the roadway when he got convicted of DWI. And my guess is if he abides by the law and he does what he's supposed to do, he'll earn that right back. Do you think this, uh, a checkpoint like this, well, first off, where is everyone? Why is it just Well, you there's a number guys? of people that are in there for the arrest, and then there's uh, guys got to go, you know, take care of personal business and stuff, not personal business like enjoyment stuff, but, you know, Got to go to the bathroom and stuff like that, so. Okay. Yeah, so do you have another question? Yeah, um, do you, th uh, on a personal for yourself, do you think this violates the Fourth Amendment of the Bill of Rights? I don't, Why is that? You know what? Well, I'll just put it this way. I know we have a philosophical difference. Well, I'm, I'm trying to have a, you nope, know, nope, a, a nope. very calm just, conversation. I don't, I'm not trying to explain how I feel Yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I believe that, uh, you know, the courts have approved this, okay? If you want to affect change, then, and you're able to affect change, then you know what? You've done your job for your position. My position is I think these are an excellent uh, educational thing as well as sometime deterrent to drunk driving. Okay. And if we are effective in, um, you know, curbing it and making people safer on the roadway, I believe in it. And I know that you have a philosophical difference with that. And so, like I said, if, if, if the courts rejected our, our appeal to have this particular checkpoint, we wouldn't be having it. So, so you would support whatever the court decision or a law says you should do? Well, we actually, not only do we support what the court did, we petitioned the court to have this checkpoint. Why? Because we believe it's a deterrent and an educational thing for people uh, that may be inclined to drive impaired. Well, isn't it, um, have you guys ever, like, considered, like, alternatives to a checkpoint? Because, like, the problem that, like, we have with it is, like, it, we feel like it violates our rights. Yep. Because, it, you know, it's a Fourth that. Amendment, you know, if you are going to detain us, yep. uh, detain people, you have to have a, a, you know, a warrant issued by a that's judge. That's right, that's right. And, and for, that's... for the proper reason, like, you know, the cause, what, why they're being searched, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Something like this, you can search someone's car and detain them just because they're driving on Bridge Street. Well, I don't know what you mean by search their car. Well, I mean, they're, I've walked past here before where you take people out of their car and you guys are going through their, through their car. I've seen cops on, in this very right, in, uh, checkpoint. Okay, well, what the circumstances are that lead them to go through a car, I don't know if they were detained the individual, uh, whether the individual has agreed to allow an officer to check their vehicle. You know, there's there's search and seizure law. We're well aware do, of that. Do you guys have, like, other uh, plans or efforts where that did to curb drunk driving that don't involve a checkpoint? Like, do you guys, like, walk down Elm to different bars and, like, pay attention to drunks that are coming out? Or maybe, like, have patrols going around watching for a car swerving? Like, like oh, an yeah. organized well, effort well, or something like that? Something a, that doesn't involve, like, trampling on other people's rights? You know, there's, there's well, again, you say trampling on other rights. Well, I mean, to me, I, I know that I'm not putting my bias out there, but I, I do view... So, like someone like yourself preventing me from traveling for a, a short amount of time is trampling my rights. I have a right to travel, mm -hmm. and if you're going to detain yeah. me, yeah. you need a warrant to stop me and search no, me. No, I, I understand that. And this, you know, this country is governed by laws, and those laws are interpreted by courts. And the court here in New Hampshire has deemed that these are legal if they're done under certain conditions, mm -hmm. you know. And um, we adhere strictly to those conditions, you know. So we certainly feel that we're acting within the scope of the law. And uh, I agree with you um, that, you know, and we do have officers out. Every officer that's working the street tonight okay. should be looking for impaired drivers, you know, what, and trying to keep the What's your safe. opinion of people like me filming you? 
I really don't care. Okay. Because I mean, I'm not. It's for me. It's more just accountability. And I've had, on a personal side, I've had a lot of bad interactions with people that that work for the government and and people that are police. And well, for me, this is more so. This is my doc. I'm documenting my life. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a bad memory, and it, if, this if is you, this is the objective. You know, okay. this is the uh, you know record. What? Like you know? I said, if ultimately you're you're able to uh, change political winds in your favor. You know what? I'll be there probably trying to change him back. You know what I mean? So. Well, I, I appreciate the honest dialogue with you. What's your name again? It's Jim. Jim, what's your badge number? I'm a captain. You're a captain? Captain Flanagan. I'm yeah. Captain Flanagan. I'm Rob, by the way. So. Okay. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks for talking to me. I appreciate All right. It. Okay. All right. You guys have a great night. Just uh, try not to arrest people for victimless crimes. All right? <laughs> well. All right.